good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you find yourself. Fudge Dice Roll here, and we are back on our farm in Iowa Plains. Guys, it is a rainy, rainy June right now. But things are looking good over here. Our, uh, our soybean field is looking pretty nice. Nice and green and lush. Get a little bit of those tops poking through. And it is just a rainy day out here today on the farm. I do have to do some grass harvesting right about meow, uh, but obviously not in the rain. So let's just kind of take a look a little bit here around the operation, see what we've got going on. Uh, we are once again growing our, uh, our fruits here. I had to do a little bit of top up of some manure uh, the other day and still growing lettuce. I actually need to uh, get in touch with the uh, local grocery store here and see if they want to do a bulk buy because I have quite a bit uh, on hand right now. A lot of stuff going on. Chickens are probably not enjoying this rain so they'll probably be in roosting. And we pop up here to the uh, cattle and grassland portion. Things are looking pretty good. I actually uh, go, went ahead and got some more TMR mixed up yesterday. I'm glad I did before it started raining like this. But uh, we got some TMR mixed up in there for the cattle. Uh, we have quite a bit of manure and quite a bit of slurry actually in our um, holding tank right now. That's going to be pretty good. <clears throat> it might uh, force me to look sooner rather than later into uh, uses for said materials. I, I know I could probably get in touch with somebody down at the co-op to see if anybody else is trying to go the organic route like I plan to. I uh, just don't have the funding right yet, and kind of, you know, I don't want to take out any more money. I don't want to take out any more loan. Uh, I'm still repaying my initial startup loan, so, uh, yeah, I don't want to take out any more loans. I've only paid back, uh, I think, essentially a quarter of what I had borrowed. Um, if we take a look here. Yeah, I've, uh, I'm still at $250,000, and I had taken out, actually, I think... Uh, 350 so or no 300,000 so so yeah we've already paid back half but but yeah I mean it's kind of a rainy poopy day right now and unfortunately I do need to go uh, get that grassland taken care of but uh, I was talking with uh, Dave down at the uh, at the dealership and he said that another one of the farmers um, he actually just recently traded in a nice piece of equipment in the form of this Landini uh, tractor here. Now, this would be a nice addition to the farm. The only downside to this is that it would be a little bit expensive, but this would basically be what we would, we, we would replace our, uh, our 6150 with this. And the nice thing is, is unlike the 6150, we actually have a front PTO. Uh, in addition to a rear PTO on here, we don't have that option on the 6150. Uh, we also be working with uh, 40 more horsepower, which would be absolutely awesome to have. Uh, that would really help us to cover any sort of any sort of small to medium uh, implements that we would need. And the nice thing is, is that this would also still use the same quickie attachment, so I'd be able to use the front loader. I'm really, really debating. So all in on this guy, if we throw a nice set of narrow tires on here, and we go ahead and get the um the, our our uh, the the <clears throat> the Isaria Isaria uh, proactive sensor system in here, uh, and throw GPS in here. Uh, we do have looks like we have something on here. It's obviously not like a Starfire, but um. But yeah, I mean, this will be good, just like maybe some sort of an auto track system. Uh, this thing comes out to about 100 and, uh, 119k, okay, which isn't too bad. We should be able to get a decent trade in here as, you know, once we take it up there, we'd get probably about 70k uh, for that. But I think what I would want to do if I was going to do it, I would be trading in uh, the 6150 as well as our, uh, as well as our, our, our HX20 here. And I would be looking to get something bigger because this has got a working width of six meters on the back of it. And I wonder uh, if I were to get that and get a different set of mowers. 
Um, I would probably want to probably want to get this set of like these cloth mowers here. This would be nice. Ten meters. How expensive is that? Forty six and twenty two. We have something better. Um, twenty six and. Oh, this gives me eight meters of working with. So that's still two meters more than uh, with the, the HX20. Just means that we get the field done a little bit quicker. Um, put these two together. This was uh, the uh, 3123 would go on the front. And then this would go on the back. The only thing is, is I don't think that the, the, uh, the GMD series allows for me to, um, to automatically roll to the center. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the class one does that allows me to kind of get everything um, like so it would push all of my external clippings down to the center line here. And so everything would be kind of just in one neat row already, which would make uh, getting hay off the field super easy because I wouldn't have to worry about windrowing. I could just cut. It would already be in a row and then I would be able to just go straight in with the baler and pick up hay bales. So um yeah, it's just something for me to think about. Something for me to think about. It would be pretty expensive to do, honestly. Because with trade-in and everything, I mean, I would probably be blowing about half my balance. So maybe I won't do it. Maybe maybe it's as much as I would love to do that, as much as I would like to get kind of like a better, more heavy-duty tractor, that'd be great. I mean, also looking in here, we have this sprayer system, but this doesn't have C and spray in it. So not as useful for... Uh, doing secondary fertilization on the fields. It's just unfortunate. There's so many nice little things in here that I would love to be able to get. Uh, like, yeah, it'd be nice to get this uh, this other tractor, but I just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening with the current setup and our current amount of funds. Uh, and we're not going to be expecting a whole lot of money anytime soon. When, as far as, like, harvesting and everything goes, we weren't going to see any money from our soybeans until... Well, one, we can harvest them in October, but two, uh, soybeans on the market right now. I mean, they're selling great right now is roughly their peak season. So, I mean, we're going to basically have to hold on to them until next year. So we're going to be real tight on funds when it comes to that. Now, I do have other stuff that I can go ahead and get run into town. Uh, just, you know, make a few calls around and whatnot. But we have tons of milk that we could take in. Uh, we have... A lot of lettuce, we have a lot of fruits and stuff like that from the greenhouses that can get sold. So we have some supplementary income that we can work with right about now. Uh, it's just it's just getting everything done, run into town, what have you. Uh, so it's kind of like a lot of admin work going on on the farm uh, This uh, until we can kind of get out there to the field and get some... Uh, get some some grass cut. It's way too wet right now for us to head out there and try to cut grass. So we're gonna have to wait until later on uh, in in the day. Hopefully in the afternoon. Maybe even tomorrow. Not quite sure yet. We're gonna have to see what uh, Mother Nature has in store for us here. But yeah, I was just you know talking to Dave. Dave was showing me these things. It's like I would love to get that tractor. I would love to do it, but just you know the amount of money we're gonna have after trade in, we're gonna end up spending about 50k and when it's all said and done and i just don't have that kind of funding right now uh right now operational funds we are looking at uh one hundred and three thousand three hundred and forty four dollars uh we can see where that's at once i go ahead and uh get some things into town so matter of fact let me drive myself over here to uh our little water tank so our little liquid tank pickup here I'm wondering, I should probably be able to load this up with milk and maybe try to get that run into town. Um, all right, let me go ahead and back myself up here. too close might not okay oh it would help if i was actually on the right side of it <laughs> ignore me ignore me ignore me you know what we're gonna go ahead we're gonna try to run some stuff into town and uh we'll see kind of what we got going on after that see if we can't get ourselves into a little bit better weather 
let's see if we can go ahead and get this back up here and actually get on the right side of it you know what i'm saying there we go yep all right uh, i'm gonna head up make a few phone calls and get this moved up to the dairy barn and see uh see what we can get going on for the day all right so we're just going ahead and offloading our last bit of milk here uh we've been splitting milk uh got in touch with the bakery as well as uh with the dairy and we're getting a bunch of our uh milk offloaded and they're actually paying quite nicely uh for it which is a plus if we go ahead and we'll check our financial ledger here uh we can see that we sold uh twenty three thousand dollars worth of milk um 20, almost twenty four thousand dollars worth of milk and we did actually end up taking a ding of $460 because of our issue with our environmental score right now. Uh, but we can hopefully bring that up here soon. So that's not bad. That's taken us our operation funding up to 126000 And then I am waiting. Uh, I'm waiting for the uh, I'm waiting for the farmer's market. They were actually very interested in selling my lettuce and whatnot and so i actually have a contractual agreement with them that they will be coming monthly to pick up from the farm now because i'm having them come pick up over me uh, actually going and spending the uh the time uh fuel and energy to drop everything off there is a little bit of a uh, of a service fee that's fine i don't mind spending that if that means that uh, I'm not having to make these big bulk transports at the moment of uh, my of my greenhouse goods to the local market. So I'm okay with that. Uh, they should be coming by sometime later in this evening. And so we'll see what we end up getting from those crops. Now, this field over here, field nine, uh, is it's harvestable. And I believe that I heard somebody at the co-op saying that uh that they were looking to contract out the harvesting of that field uh something to do with like a broken foot or or whatnot so i'm gonna try to get in touch with uh, the landowner and see if i can't do that eventually i'd love to try to build a good working relationship with them uh hopefully they would be interested in potentially selling me the uh the field because i would love to expand and extend this field out and connect the two of those together and be able to have one nice big long field something i could go ahead and get some corn planted at that would be phenomenal i would love to be able to do that so uh yeah i'm gonna make some calls get a few other little things done and then we are uh primed and ready to go ahead and see about getting that uh getting our, our other field over here field 11 mode and kind of getting uh, some hay as well as some more silage into our our e-tunnel over here so we can keep these cows fat fed and happy so all right i'm gonna make a few calls get a few things done uh around the farm and then i will probably see you guys down by the field here a little bit later in the afternoon all right so uh the the uh farmer's market guys they came and picked up everything uh and we got ourselves quite a decent little payout. Uh, it, was, it was pretty good. If we go ahead and take a, a look at our financial ledger here, you'll see that we ended up doing, uh, here sold products, we ended up doing nearly $12,000, bringing our operational costs up to, uh, our operational budget up to uh, $138,285. And I was just going ahead and getting our, uh, our manure topped up here for our little greenhouse. Uh, where we're growing our uh, our veggie or our veggies, our fruits in. Uh, right now, we're actually kind of focused on growing pineapple. Uh, that is kind of really in demand right now. So yeah, so the weather's cleared up. We've got the last little bit of this through. Let's go ahead and get ourselves up to the grassland and start getting that mode. I want to go ahead and get that silage mode, and I don't mind packing that wet. Uh, which is fine. I'm not going to worry about letting it dry too terribly much. I'll just pack it uh, a little bit with a higher moisture content, and that's that's it's okay as long as our wraps are good. We don't have any punctures to our wrapping. Uh, it'll be absolutely fine uh, to ferment a little bit wetter 
than usual. Uh, I'll still have to go ahead and kind of check the, the moisture on the on the field. Now, I think what I'm going to do with this uh, with this money that we have now that we have kind of this good operational budget, uh, I think I will be keeping an eye and on 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 making sure I have some, keeping a little chunk of money set aside. Because what I'm going to want to do is go ahead and get in touch with um, like the little um, little ag ag department here have them come out after we harvest soybeans and do a soil analysis on field seven for us and i know that they had uh, quoted me around the thirty thousand dollar mark just to cover this that size of a field uh, i think we're going to go ahead and make sure we keep uh, enough money budgeted aside so that after we harvest soybeans uh we can have them come out and do that and then we can go ahead and take care of all of our other stuff uh getting our doing our our, our tillage and, and everything on the field, getting it prepped out uh, to to grow something else. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, get things set up here, head down to the field, start cutting. Okay, so not too bad. I did color outside the lines a little bit there on that edge, but you know what? It'll build character. Sure, it's a, a different uh, species of grass, but it's all right. It's such a negligible amount. It shouldn't have any issue. But yeah, I'm interested to see how much, uh, how many, you know, I don't know. I think I'm going to bale some of this as silage, and I'm going to probably ted some of this to be hay. So I think I'll probably end up windrowing probably about five rows of this to be wrapped into silage. And then the rest of it, I'll, I'll come back through and Ted. Um, yeah, man, this thing got proper dirty. That's all right, though. We'll get over to the wash rack with it. We'll get it all squared away and cleaned up, and then we'll come back. And uh, we'll actually remember this time to bring our windrow back in. It just sat here. <laughs> it sat here for the last few months. I uh, completely forgot about it. Uh, didn't put it away. Bad, bad, bad farmer fudge. We'll go ahead and get this guy over here. Get him sprayed off. Ooh, I've kind of got a little bit of crowding going on here at the at the wash rack station. That's fine. We'll, we'll manage. 
Uh, there's really no point in trying to wash the tractor just yet. We'll get this guy clean. Yeah, this HX-20 is great. Uh, I really like it. It's a great implement to have out here. It does pretty short work with its uh, over six meters of working width. But I would love to get to the point where I had a, uh, where I have like kind of something with the front and rear PTO, something a little bit more working with 10 meters, 12 meters. I would really uh, just speed that along. Plus eventually I'd probably like to go ahead and purchase the field pass pass there so that I could actually uh, really ramp up production. Once we start getting more cattle, we're really going to need a lot of feed for them. And so uh, in the in the short term, that is what I would like to do would be to kind of get enough money together to be able to purchase out that, uh, that other field there. I mean, the other thing I could do would be looking at leasing it. Um, Leasing the field, but I wouldn't want to plant the field up with a bunch of grass. Only to, to lease it for a year or so. I also have honestly no idea how much leasing costs would be. I would have to kind of maybe get in touch with whoever owns it. Figure that out. Alright. Uh, okay. You know what? We'll have to play around with getting things loaded in here anyway. I'm going to preemptive, well, not really preemptively, ah, I'm going to grab the tether and bring that out there, as well as come back and grab the baler so that we can get some of that stuff done, like I was saying. Come on. There we are. All right, so I'm going to head down to the field, get some things windrowed up, and then ted the rest of it, windrow that. And we'll get to Balin. All right, so we actually uh, we actually split the field out. We split it, uh, half of it we did in silage, the other half here we're doing in hay, and honestly, honestly, I probably could have gone like two more passes 
on uh, silage because we have a ton of hay out here. A lot more than I thought we were going to have. <laughs> but sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles, right? At least next time I'll know that I can do like eight, maybe nine rows of silage and still have plenty of space for hay. But something else that I would love to do in the future uh, would be to actually get this field down here this field uh, just south field 30 it appears and I would love to be able to pick that field up and just connect these two together and just have one massive grass field is what I'm going to need uh, just to deal with to deal with the amount of cattle that we have on the farm uh, boy, we're going to have this one difficult little bit here left to fill our I am not even certain how many, uh, not even certain of how many, yeah, how many bales looking for seven, um, so close, so close, Ooh, I've still a bunch of little scrappy bits here on the field to pick up, and it was just me, I was having issues with the windrow. Uh, actually windrowing things. This field is just like a little bit odd shaped. And so that kind of threw things off a smidge for us. But I tell you what, we're just going to go ahead. We're going to haul hay bales. And then really the only other thing I'm going to have to do is uh, come back tomorrow so I can get the field rolled and ready. Uh, but I think that yeah, you know what? I think that'll be it. I think we'll come back tomorrow, we'll roll the fields, and then we're pretty much ready to ru jump into July. And July means that we will be harvesting. We will be harvesting our wheat field, field 10. And I am really, really excited to see what that does for us uh, monetarily. Because uh, if you guys remember from last year, our very first season, we... Uh, we, we didn't get uh, that much money. I think we made, like, uh, I think in total we got 36, um, 36 cubic meters, I want to say. I want to say we got, like, 36 cubic meters. I'll have to go back and check, but I'm really excited to see what we get this time around. Uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna drop a hay bale here. We were so close, and it was just, you know, it, Eh, it is what it is. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go ahead and get all this stuff collected up off of the field. And get it all ready into our e-tunnel. Come back. Roller everything. And then, actually, I really need to get, uh... I really need to get this tractor into town and refuel. <laughs> I think we'll do that after the fact. And then, yeah, then we will go into... We'll go into our next, uh, go into our next month. It'll be awesome. We'll be, we'll be doing a little bit of good old, uh, good old harvesting. Now, a uh, little admin note here. I actually have added some more realism mods since, uh, since we started this season, or since we started this series. Uh, we've added in, additionally, um, the combine experience mod. Uh, we added in a uh, con conservation uh, agriculture mod, which will actually be coming into effect here uh, soon.tm because we will be rolling and crimping fields. And so that uh, that is something that'll be new to me doing on here, but I'm familiar with the concept of crimping. Uh, it's the, the same kind of thing as when we'll be using uh, this field roller here. Uh, it'll be rolling down crops and stuff like oilseed radish, cover crops, and what have you. So, so yeah, um, that'll be that'll be cool. Once we take care of uh, field field ten, we will be able to we'll be able to kind of start implementing that stuff. And it's basically just an uh, an addition to the uh, to the precision farming mod. So. Uh, but anyway, little 
we'll just kind of break back out of uh, meta and get back into the game here. Go grab the rest of those bales. Matter of fact, I think I'm just going to drop these ones off. I was going to kind of load this up, but we'll go drop these off, then we'll come back and snatch up all those bales. We should have room. But yeah, just uh, thank you everybody who's been watching the videos. Uh, people have been watching. Not too many people have been hitting the like or commenting, so if you guys could you could do that for me that would be great uh you know comments and likes and stuff like that that's the kind of traction the algorithm's looking for so you know that if you wouldn't mind doing that that would be phenomenal but yeah i mean i hope you guys have been enjoying this if there's anything that you'd like to see in this series uh there is a bunch of really cool stuff that i am kind of looking to get into and it's just, you know, actually getting to that point. Uh, there's going to be a lot of money that is needed to do some of the... Get some of the more interesting pieces of uh, equipment that are in the shop. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of... Um, just going to kind of montage mode the end of this. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you, everybody, for uh, all the... All views and i've gotten a handful more followers which is really awesome if you didn't know we're trying to get to a thousand followers by the end of the year i literally can't do it without you and 85 percent of my viewer base is not actually following the channel if you could just please take that moment just click the button if you're already here and you're already watching then you know then help that that is support that is the support that i need the drive and motivation to keep making the content so, uh, anyway, we're going to just kind of montage mode the last bit of this stuff, and I will see you guys in the next episode. I uh, hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. This is Fudge Dice Roll, signing off.